Friday, 3.30. Every week a new band. In the studio. Brought to you by NZ On Air. Kia ora koutou, my lovely listeners. You're tuned into the Friday Flow here on Radioactive.fm. And it is, of course, 3.30, which means it's time for the return of Active Live. We haven't had an Active Live for a few months because of that pesky COVID, and I'm so excited to introduce the wonderful Alba Rose. Kia ora, Alba. Kia ora, Mia. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So super excited to hear um, some songs. Um, Alba Rose is a wonderful Porniki-based songwriter and producer who creates neo soul tunes for us to all groove to. How was your lockdown and things? Oh, log- lockdown was... Log- we had a two-person bubble, yeah. so... Um, I live like near Lyle Bay by the beach. Um, it's quiet because usually there's all the airplanes going past and traffic and stuff. So it was quite nice to get a bit of peace, I guess. But um, yeah, I feel like it went really quickly. Like my last lockdown, I was like probably way more chill. Still had work from home and stuff to do. So yeah, it was kind of nice to have a bit of consistency, I guess. But yeah, it went really quickly. Yeah, all it's all. always mm. a strange time. Hey, I feel mm. like we've all sort of forgotten it's happened now that we're back yeah, in the again. Yeah, other than like masks happening. and... Um, distancing measures and stuff yeah Yeah. it's like yeah different sort of life yeah oh well (laughs) should we crack into a song what's the first one you got for us today um this one's called eve it's a song i recently released actually released in lockdown um it's my debut single uh that i yeah it was about a month ago now um yeah i'll just i'll just get straight into it (laughs) beautiful so this is eve by alba rose live from our studio Saying that you want the sand Is only letting yourself down Saying that you need the sand While your head's still up in the clouds It's been too long Don't let her heart break 
body knows how your body knows if you really want something and if you really need it oh your body knows so let your body know Your body know that you want this. It's only letting yourself down. Thank you so much. If you guys have just joined us, um, you're tuned into the Active Live, and we have Alba Rose in the studio. I absolutely love that track. I was listening to it today when I was doing some research for the interview, and I just love the line, if you need something, if you want something, mm. your body knows. Um, can mm. you tell me a bit more about uh, how you wrote that song and the themes within it? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I like that line too. I feel like when your gut's telling you something's wrong, it's always going to be there. Like, you can... You can pretend it's not there, but secretly you you know in yourself what you should and shouldn't do. And I think that's that was that's mainly the theme is like accepting like what is and like focusing on what you do want to do. And yeah, it was just like it was actually lockdown last year I created that song, and it's kind of like come out of um, just studying uni. I was looking for a job. Um, just had done a pretty hectic like summer working multiple jobs like side hustling and doing a big tour and wrote that and I was like oh what am I actually like what do I actually want to do <laughs> it's just like big scatterbrain right now so yeah. um yeah like refocusing on like I guess yeah what, what I felt like I should be doing and yeah it's kind of that um toss up between maybe um that maybe internal frustration and kind of like knowing that you're not quite fulfilling what you want to do but then also like accepting like oh, okay um I'm just gonna move my body and just release and whatever happens happens and kind of yeah screw it so you can kind of hear those both those themes in the song I think yeah no it's mm. super beautiful just like listening to within um but that is your debut single as mm. Alba Rose and that was released in August the August yeah late August 20th, 27th yeah. mm. Yeah. Um. Did you choose that single specifically for your debut? Uh. Yeah. 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 I. So I play with a band of awesome guys. Um, Rafe, Eli, and Rory, and we kind of once I like wrote it, we put it together. It just sounded so cool as a band. It's kind of quite different to stuff I've done in the past as well, and I like the message. Um. Yeah. I guess, I guess I, yeah, did think it through. Mm. Yeah. And can you tell me a bit more about Alba Rose as a project and how you started? Like, have you been writing music for a while? Um, yeah, I've been writing, like, music my own for quite a while. Um, it's kind of was more like poems and voice mem memos and random bits here and there. It was lockdown last year. I really, like, honed in on the guitar, started writing with the guitar and, like, kind of putting together the whole pieces and then met up with Rory come after lockdown last year who plays the keys with me and then we kind of like filled out some songs a bit more and it's great like bouncing off ideas with him and he's been super helpful to work with and everything so we've and then took keys and guitar to the, to the full band started playing through there it's definitely like different coming because after playing with Corduroy, it was like a full band and it's very much everyone's band and very equal and like um, balancing things together and always working together as well. Whereas like now it's, it, it's I'm just like navigating the, the differences of like kind of my own artistic identity a bit more and kind of leading the group or like, yeah, kind of yeah, having my own band and then yeah, being a bit more in control. So... Yeah, it's, I guess it would mm. be hard getting used to that dynamic of whether you're the you're the one in charge as opposed to yeah. being able to hear everyone else's ideas. Yeah, and it's like, I guess, like, it's so nice working in a team. You feel so supported, and the great thing about the boys I work with now is, like, 
feel super supported as well and it's so relaxed and everything. It's, it's just, it is different, like, though, going from one thing to the next and just takes a bit of getting used to. And probably self-confidence too, just being like, okay, yeah, this is this is going and instead of doubting yourself. So, yeah. Yeah, you've definitely got to back yourself a lot more if you're yeah, like presenting yeah. as a solo project. And, and I think that takes a lot and that's quite hard for a lot of artists to be like, yeah. no, this is my thing and I'm going to support this and get a band and things. So, yeah. yeah it's like you're constantly the one... Moving, moving it instead of like kind of taking turns. Like, oh, okay, I don't know, I'm feeling it. Someone else says, oh, no, move, move. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, should we pop another song in then? Yes. What's the next one you've got for us? Um, this one's called Circling. Um, it's just kind of like a fun one of, uh, what would I say it's about? Kind of just, if you want to change, then we need to be the main people who, who do that ourselves. So be, be the change you wish to see, I guess. Mm.
This is such perfect sunny afternoon mm. chill music. I'm absolutely loving I'm it. I'm just looking out of the blue sky <laughs> still like, oh, I love daylight savings. We've got a lovely view over Taranaki Street here in the studio. Ah, I just feel so lucky to be sitting here listening. <laughs> mm. So nice, isn't it? Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, no problem. It's so, so nice. nice to have you in the studio. <laughs> yeah, to be your back at some at a lockdown first live session. That's it's pretty sick. First one back. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, um, so you grew up down in Wanaka. You're from the Dirty South. Um, mm. I'm also from the Dirty South. Dirty we south. love founding. I feel mm. like when Central Otago people find each other, it's, it's, like, it's very wow. rare. It's very exciting. Chemistry. Um, but you moved up to Wellington. So you've been living here for about five years now. Yeah. How do you find the music scene up here? And um, yeah, writing yeah. with people that live here. Oh, it's so awesome. It's like, um, if, if anyone ever talks about coming to Wellington, I just... Describe this night I had where <laughs> had it was I don't know what time it was but we went to the orchestra at the start and then we went to a um, punk rock gig in Valhalla like two hours later went to an indie pop gig at um, San Fran and then ended up at a house techno gig all in the same night and we walked around like I don't know less than a k to get everywhere so music scene wise I love the like eclectic you can just do everything at once and dabble in so many genres and like listen to so many different so much different music and meet so many I don't know different people from it too so love it mm. yeah um and so I think a lot of people will probably know you from Cordray because you guys mm. have played a lot of gigs around Wellington yeah um, but of course you've moved on from Cordray now um do you think you've taken a lot of your inspiration from the stuff that you were doing with them yeah I think the cool thing about what we like as Cordray together is we all had quite different, like, styles of music. So because of that, like, we would infuse quite a lot of genres. And I quite like playing with multiple different, like, elements at once. So, yeah, I guess so. Like, learning how to intertwine multiple genres. And I, lo I love the fun aspect of Corduroy. Like, we always played, like, such fun music and really got the crowd going. And um, so, yeah, I want to I wanna keep that alive in my music too. Amazing. Yeah. I also wanted to ask about another project you were part of because I was really surprised to hear mm. it. But you released a couple singles last year that were really cool, um, like liquid drum and bass tracks with yeah. CSM. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about that collaboration? Yeah. So um, that was also lockdown last year. We, I had a friend from Wellington and we were working on some house tunes at the time. And then he created this liquid drum and bass track and then he was super busy with his design work he's like oh I'm gonna pass it on to a producer who I'm really good friends with and then the whole of that those both those singles were done like we never met each other we hadn't even met each other a whole year after making those or talked on the phone it was just like pure like across the web which was so cool that you can do that these days um yeah I I love like the energy in liquid drum and bass and <laughs> like there's there's definitely a spectrum of drum and bass, I feel, and I do like the liquid stuff because it's still got that quite, like, uplifting, motivating kind of area. You could listen to it in the morning with a coffee, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Some people. It's kind of like the posh drum and bass, as opposed oh, to, like, Wilkinson. I've never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I describe it. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Is it something but, you'd consider doing, like, in the future, like, do more of electronic music? Um, definitely electronic music. Yeah. yeah I, I'm kind of trying to learn how to produce at the moment a bit better with electronic music and or way down the track, it would be really cool to like make my own electronic music, but gosh, you can't, you can't do it all right now. <laughs> yeah. So, um. You sound like a very busy person already. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's like waves, right? But then, yeah, liquid drum and bass is, is awesome. So, if there was a really great track ready that needs a vocalist, wouldn't be opposed. There you so, go. Yeah. There's a call out if you need a vocalist <laughs> and you're a liquid drum and bass producer. <laughs> there you go. Setting myself up to get even more busy. Oh, yeah, amazing. Right. Do you want to play another song for us? Yeah. This one um, is actually my next single that will sound very different acoustically. Yeah. And that single is coming out uh, late, late October. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's called Holding On. Um, yeah, it's a stripped back version. Hmm. You 
live studio and that was her next single holding on you guys mm. got a special listen a preview yeah a preview <laughs> <laughs> linked <laughs> someone might have been like recording with their phone yeah, or something yeah quite Carelisa before yeah. the uh, spring second <laughs> Actually, I think that's the day. <laughs> please, please keep it secret. Um, but <laughs> yeah. those two uh, singles were mixed by whoop, Jim, Jim. McRae. Yeah. yeah, and I saw that he's uh, worked with some pretty big names like Jordan Aikai. Yeah, and Yuki and a Junior Oaks. Yeah, yeah. How did this collaboration come about? Um, so I'm good mates with Arjuna, and I basically was like, "Oh, I love your song." Um, oh gosh, what's the name of the song? Um, am I the only one who's walking? That one. Am I the only yeah. one who's walking? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, 
Aj, this is so beautiful. Who mixed this? And he's like, oh, it was Jim. And I was like, oh, awesome. And he gave me his contact. And then I just hit up Jim. And Jim was like, yeah, sounds cool. <laughs> Amazing. That's so, so good. Yeah. I know. That's the, that's the thing with the, the web now, isn't it? Like within even a couple of hours, you can get in touch with someone and on the other side of the world because he's based in London. Yeah. So it was, it's been really cool working with him. I've actually learned quite a lot through the process of like sending all that somewhere else. And Yeah, like, it must be so scary just sending your stems away yeah, into the void. Yeah, yeah. and like um, how much of the process is production versus mixing. Like you kind of like can put a song together and be like, okay, fix it, mix it. And then it's, <laughs> it's like actually yeah. that is, that's something you need to do much cleaner in the production period. So that's that's been good to learn. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. speaking of the web and stuff, something I noticed when I was um, looking at things online was that there's quite a lot of international blogs that have wrote in, wrote, uh, wrote about your new single. Yeah. Did you, um, how did that come about? Um, I kind of just emailed a bunch of them. Yeah. And yeah, kind of there's this platform that you can like um, upload s- the song to and then if people like it, they can message you and then you can get in contact with them directly so it's been cool to work on some of that stuff and yeah I know it's been quite a good release with Eve I've been super stoked with how it's turned out so yeah yeah and especially because you released it when we were in the before as well that's yeah. amazing that you've got so much traction with it yeah it was kind of I feel like it was almost a blessing a little bit because I hadn't didn't have a show lined up so for me release day would have been like maybe like play the songs to a bunch of friends and get heaps of people over have a few drinks or something so just postponed that and then it got to just spend heaps more time on kind of that whole release process instead well, yeah I guess working in life yeah <laughs> so, literally oh yeah. amazing um and of course these singles are working up to an EP which you're going to release mm. later in the year yeah 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 that's right um it's very exciting yeah late November um gonna try get it out for yeah (laughs) things have slowed down quite a bit with like lockdown and stuff so um was yeah it's sometime in November still but was gonna try aim for early November but I think just gonna have to push it back just a couple of weeks yeah but that's really nothing in the scheme of things Mm. yeah I'm so looking forward to it and we've got a few (coughs) shows coming up here in Porniki yeah one with um yeah fingers crossed (laughs) Um, supporting Dunes and Sophia Makara at their show in San San Fran. That's on the 14th of October, so who knows what will happen. Hopefully that will still go ahead. Um, and then when I release the EP, I've got a few shows around the North Island. One's booked in for Auckland, unsure about that. And then one for Hawke's Bay. Um, and then Wellington, so... Just who knows what, what's going to happen. Yeah, we can only pray and touch wood and yeah. hope that we're all back <coughs> in level one. Um, but I also mm. saw you on a few festivals over summer. Oh, yeah. um, one of them, Tora Bombora, that's one of my personal favourite festivals. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I know, that's where we met, for any <laughs> listeners out there. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Tora. <coughs> Pardon me, I think I got something in my throat. Um, yeah, Tora, I love the like, you're away on the coast out of reception, it's by the beach. Everyone's just chilling. Oh, it's such good vibes. But, um, yeah, going to be playing at Tora this year. I've actually been to Tora every year of its existence. Oh so it's really quite an honour. I'm feeling super excited about about that. Um, and La Currents, that's going to be end of um, December in Taupo. So really excited about that too. So... Yeah, it's gonna. It's lining up to be a good summer. Yeah, you've got a jam packed summer mm. on the way. Um, well, we better wrap things up. You've got one more song for us, but just before we wrap into that, um, where can people find you online to listen to your music and yeah. all your releases and things? Yep. Um, or anywhere that you can find music, we've got um, Alba Rose is just my Instagram name, and same with Alba Rose Music on Facebook. And then otherwise on Spotify, Amazon, Bandcamp. It's Bandcamp Friday today. So Go buy um, local music. Yeah, go buy local music. Um, and then, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, everywhere. She's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. It's been so sick having you in for our first Act of Live back. Oh, um, what's the you final guys. song you've got for us today? Um, this one's Butterfly Kisses. So hopefully my fingers still got enough energy.